Was you with Pac when he did that photo shoot, Dripped and Gold? We I, we was there, but we wasn't actually inside. I remember he he did went to some hotel in Beverly Hills, and we was like all in the suite in the, in the living room. And he was he was doing that, you know what I mean? It was um Pac was there. Well, like, yeah, Pac he was into like, you know what I mean? He he felt comfortable doing that type of stuff because Pac used to think he was a model, you know what I mean? So if he he felt comfortable doing that type of stuff where he was comfortable with his manhood to be able to do these type of photos. We clowned him. We probably, I'm sure when we seen it, we probably had a, a roasting session for like hours because that's how we would get down. Like, bro, are you crazy? You know what I mean? But Pac always been, if he want to do something, he going to do it. But the reason why I asked you that, right, because I've been seeing this for a while now, people trying to use that photo shoot to change Tupac legacy. But if you go online, you can see the video of that photo shoot. So you can see Tupac wearing boxers underneath the gold. But, you know, it's just funny to me, man, when I see people act like they don't see that video online. And, you know, they just ignore that video exactly. so they can push their narrative. So, you know, it's funny to me, man. No, nah, exactly. First of all, bro, we're going to talk about, you know what I mean? Because Pac was a man-man. Like, I, I, I lived in the same house. It was nothing fruity about Pac. You understand? He was a man-man. Um, you know, I don't want to go into details because I don't, I don't prom you know, I try not to promote, like, boyfriend, girlfriends, and this guy sleeping with this girl, that's that's out of my, that's none of my business. But knowing Pac, he 100% man. He wasn't into none of that fruity stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? He definitely wasn't into none of that. He definitely, you know what I mean? He was just an individual, a photo shoot. You, you got to understand, Pac was, when he came to his art, he was just different. He wasn't ashamed to be listening to people like, like, like what's her name? So I forgot it was like this lady, this singer. Wow, what's her name, Aki? Like Pac used to blast her, but to us it was like the most weirdest, strangest music on the planet. But he he seen something in this music. So he wasn't a type that always listened to rap music. He listened to Alanis Morissette. He driving around listening to Alanis Morissette. He hanging like he just was a different type of people when it came to him and his talent and how he liked to dinner, you know what I mean, deal with his, his art. But when it comes to his sexuality, he was a man-man that was far from being a homosexual, 100% far from that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Pac wasn't into that weird. They, these rappers nowadays doing that weird stuff. You know what I mean? It's becoming common. But in, in our time, you know what I mean? You get your head knocked off around us doing that type of stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, man. But my thing is this, right? How they intentionally ignore that video that's online if you look at the video, you can see the men is wearing boxers and they put the gold on top of them, but they ignore that video and they try to push the narrative like he was butt naked underneath the gold. <laughs> Even if that was the case, but how how can that define his, his sexuality if that was the case? You know what I mean? If, if that was the case, that's some crazy stuff. You got people running around doing all types of videos and stuff. It, it probably would have been strange, but... If he felt like he wanted to do a video, a, a photo shoot like that, we probably be like, bro, you, you crazy, you lose your, what's wrong with you? We would have clowned him, but that has nothing to do with you can check his sexuality and say he's, he's you know what I mean, he's gay because of that, you know what I mean? But I guess that we live, we live in these strange times. Yeah, I mean, and I actually heard that photo shoot, that was for a female magazine too, so. Yeah, of course, like, you know what I mean? And we always did, I'm talking about his publishers, managers, it probably was 40, 50 people and not why he was doing a photo shoot, but I mean in the suite, like, you know what I mean? 